I think I'm having a good hair day. Talking about hair, it's been a critical journey so far and we were wondering guys, we have one question. We really just don't know what to do is and the question is shall we use normal shampoo or maybe shampoo for curly hair? I mean if you look at him and that power curl he has on top like we don't want that little curl to be lost do you want a curl shampoo or do you want normal shampoo? Our dear van is supposed to be arriving this very moment in Perth and as soon as the truck driver gives me a call I'll pick it up to start the van life All right, let me give you a walk through the camper van conversion. This is where the magic happens. All right, as you can tell, this is where all the work went to. And this is a pretty big bed, like this, <laughs> this is some saliva from Magnus. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And this is a pretty big bed. This is 142 times 2 meters. And as you can tell, the entire wood paneling worked out pretty well. It's not only, it doesn't only have a nice look, but it's also got proper insulation behind. Although like here, a piece of wood fell off, so you can see the actual piece that is doing the insulation. So here's reflectix and some earth wool behind it, but I will get another piece of wood to actually cover it. But, but yes, this is this is the baby. This is the baby. And especially love this kind of wood. And I built here some drawers. So here we've got like jackets, a picnic blanket. That's where I put uh, some of my electronics. Um, which you can't see right now, my camera and just my laptop and a uh, nice little pin board and all right and then again this is a like a, just to emphasize how nice this bed is it's um, 15 centimeters of memory foam and I really think I sleep better in here than I do at home there were also a couple of things that were actually pretty hard to build such as, you can see them down there, those little two drawers. And you know what they say about drawers in a van? They're supposed to reflect the ego. Ba -da -ba. So this is where the kitchen is. and. So when we're too lazy to take out the table and the chairs, this is where we'll actually eat. We'll just have like some bread and butter. And the cook is right below, but it doesn't stop here. Now here, we've got salt and pepper, all our spices, cutlery, but it doesn't stop there. So what you're looking at is a pretty big drawer pretty big eagle. <laughs> All right. Um, that was actually pretty hard to build, and uh, but it wasn't the only one. I also got another baby here, which is the second drawer. And this reflects my savings and my passion for the camera. I'll walk you through another day when I do a video about what's in my camera bag but here you can see a couple of lenses, drones, tripods, a water housing casing back there, a microphone, the GoPro 360 which I haven't used at all but yeah I'll talk you through the specifics of my camera gear another day Let's walk over here. 
Yeah, this by the way, where we camped today. Um, I don't know, but I think a place like this, getting it in Europe would be almost impossible. And here, look at this. There's water, green fields, nothing. A little awning. We had dinner yesterday here just with bread. A little bit of tea. Well, Magnus has dinner here as well. Still needs to do his dishes. And yeah, there's another car park. But yeah, just look at this. This is amazing. And we also got the little fruit hammock here. <laughs> and another thing I'm particularly proud of is the water supply because it's not that easy to build and now uh, listen to this it's flowing water all right then the other part of the kitchen so here we got a couple of food storage opportunities and the system behind this is we keep our dry carp stuff laid there and everything else down there and a baby bucket and some baby toys compartment and now the fridge Do -do -do -do. it's down there it's a decent sized fridge it's about 40 yeah, there it says 41 liters and I must say it does the job it's more than we need for sure but if you're ever about to throw a party you know what to do all right then that's my electrical system um, it's a MPPT regulator and a power inverter behind it and two batteries um, which haven't failed us anyway Magnus sits over there baby mama over here and well, this is the front where we keep the nappies safe <laughs> in the co-driving seat yeah that's the pilot and now let's look from above so this is the part that is charging our batteries and as you can tell we have here two panels each have 200 watts so these have 400 watts in total which is a very powerful electrical system and my boards go over there and one thing to have in mind you can see the bars are on top of the solar system and uh, you're supposed to not give them one bit of shade but since the system is this powerful it actually doesn't matter so it still works and uh, yes also i must say like a, definitely a must have is the awning because the awning it makes it kind of cozy it also shields you from any possible wind and rain oh yeah it's just amazing all right now where are the co-stars also you see another couple of compartments there that's where we keep our dirty shoes oh yeah and the one thing i forgot is you see that part up there that was the toughest build after the doors because as you can tell the commuter has a little bit of a curve up the ceiling and uh, it's pretty hard to get a 90 degree angle in there therefore like if you open them um, you can't see them right now but on the back it's pretty much curved and yeah it's pretty tough to get it right that's why also like you see there a couple of squares are not a couple of joints are not all the way right but it does the job yeah, this and where are my co-stars? Where are the co-stars? 
Say hello. Oh, <laughs> Somebody's checking out the grass. Huh?